My name is Sun Nguyen. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco System. I am ecstatic to let you know that DNA Center is now available on AWS. And we have made deploying DNA Center VA easy and smooth for you. Let's get started on deploying your DNA Center VA. To make it easy for you, our customer, to deploy Cisco DNA Center VA, we offer you two modes. The first one is the auto mode which we call easy button. And the second is the manual mode. In the auto mode, we provide you with a VA launch pad in which we will create the AWS infrastructure VA pod for you. And within that VA pod, we create VPC subnet security perimeter like security group for inbound and outbound traffic for your AWS to your enterprise network. We will also create CloudWatch alert to monitor your VA pod. On top of that, we will, we will also create VPN gateway and or TGW. Within that VA part, we also create a cloud backup for your DNA VA. To learn more about using the auto mode, please see the link at the end of this video. Now, the second mode is the manual mode, where we will provide you with a cloud formation template, which will bring up your DNA center VA. In this mode, you will need to update your existing security group with the right ports for your DNA center to talk back to your enterprise network. In case you need a backup and restore server for your DNA center VA, you will need to create a backup and restore server in the cloud or your enterprise network. Let's move to the demo. Before I go to the demo of manual mode, there are a few prerequisites that you would need. On your AWS, AWS console, you need to have AMI, the VPC, security group, and VPN gateway. Once you have that, you can use the cloud formation script to create your Cisco DNA, DNA Center VA. And in the meantime, you can start updating your security group to add those port numbers so your DNA Center VA can access your network device on your enterprise side. Now, once DNA Center finish with the installation, you can web in to your DNA Center VA with the IP address that was set during the cloud formation bring up and start using all the features that you would normally get on your on-prem Cisco DNA Center appliance. Once you log into your AD, AWS console, you go to Cloud Formation menu, and here you can, on the upper right hand corner, you can hit Create Stack, and then within Create, you can upload the Cloud Formation template that you download from software.cisco.com and open it. And then next, you will see a couple of fields that you, could, you need to fill in, like stack name and EC instant configuration, give it a name for those. And then choose a private subnet for your VA to be in, and also a security group for your VA that you would like to use, and assign a key pair to your VA. And then come to part of the DNAC DNA center configuration. Give it an IP address for your DNA C center VA, a net mask and a gateway. Also give it a your enterprise DNS server and also a COI password. And then give it a FQDN um, <clears throat> FQDN name for your Cisco DNA, DNA center VA. And then proxy, if you have it, uh, if it's authenticated, give it a username and password. And then here you can leave it as is, or if you're an advanced user, you can make modification here. We recommend leaving it as is. Here you can review the configuration that you put in here. Uh, this is the parameters. The second part of the reviewing is are the security group and the key pair private subnet you want to use 
and if you need to make modifications you can go back and make a modification before you proceed with uh, submitting this configuration here you can hit the submit here and then it will start creating creating your Cisco DNA Center VA for you now once it's run it will take about 45 minutes to 60 minutes to complete and then you can log in after 45 to 60 minutes you are now able to log in to your Cisco DNA Center VA here you log in using the admin name and uh, the password after you log in you would not you would get the first time setup just like you would get it from the Cisco DNA Center uh, appliances here you go to the quick start and ch do change your password and update software and after all that is done uh, you can start discovery and inventory of your uh, network device from using your Cisco DNA Center uh, VA on AWS. This brings us to the end of deploying Cisco DNA Center VA using manual mode video. I'm excited for you to deploy your own Cisco DNA Center VA on AWS. Here are some links for your references. Until next time, thanks for watching.